Doomsday. I do have a go bag. What's in it? Rope, candles. No, yeah. you don't. What's our rope for? You never know. <laughs> yeah, gun. Ah, uh, yeah, the gun's next to it. Yeah. I would be set. So tell me, like, <laughs> you have a go bag, which right. I think I understand what it is. You got to uh, go. Or a, a, go, a god uh, bag, sometimes they call them a get out of dodge. Okay. What is the most realistic, most plausible scenario that you would need to use that? Um, honestly, it would be invasion. Like if there was war on the American front. But where are you going to go? Yeah, I, I have a plan. I just, I'm not going to tell anyone. Oh, it. my God. Probably go to the farm. You go to the farm. The farm. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Like... Close-ish. He's going to go to his dad's farm. No. No. Nope. <laughs> huh. Um, but what's the, because we're like, we're the place that people would go if we got invaded. Right. So where are you going, I, I guess, is the question. It's the middle of nowhere. I have I have a place to go. Does, and that, when, does it have a shelter? Mm -hmm. When did you develop this plan? About like, 19 years old, and now I just keep tweaking it the more kids I have. It's, it's just... It's just, and, 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 it's just something that no one who lives in Fargo ever needs. I know. And, so, okay, so in case. when you were 19, like, how did you get to yeah. the point where you just sat down and you're like... He watched uh, uh, The Walking Dead one time. It was, yeah, was it like Spur? Not too far off. I had a friend who was really into The Walking Dead, and he had a go bag. And I was oh, like, you guys did it like it was like a session. Like, you know how you go and you drink wine and paint a canvas? You guys went to a, a <laughs> go bag class, <laughs> drank beer, and chose, yeah. chose items right. to put in the bag? No, the bag has been steadily growing over the last... It's more of a suitcase ten years now. now. What kind of a yeah. bag is it? Is it like a duffel bag or what? It, it's like a backpack, kind of. It's essentially it is a backpack, but the backpack. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm trying to envision what kind of a backpack <laughs> is. The backpack unzips and it's, it's like a bag that just doesn't go on your back, so it's just a pack. <laughs> yeah. Let, uh, let me finish. The backpack unzips in several other ways. It becomes sort of a space blanket that holds heat or insulates things as well. <laughs> Shit, it's good. Shit, it's so good. where is the plan written out on like, like, is it written out just like eight and a half by 11 or? It's all right here. What's eight and a half by 11? I, I, I was wondering like, does he have it? Like, does he have it like, dr is it drawn out into like figure, like figures and shit on like a regular piece of paper? Or it's just. Oh, just, it's like an inventory list yeah. of what he's got. No, 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 no. So what happened? Do you bring it with you everywhere you go? Because what no, happens if yeah. you're in Minneapolis and then we get invaded? You're going to drive back to Fargo and then drive? I'm, I'm just fucked. <clears throat> well, okay. So what if they come from the Minnesota side like they're, and they're closing in yeah. and then you're driving into the heat? Because we know oh, that driving. we know at least you're in Minnesota is where you're thinking of yeah, going. I, I have my routes planned. <laughs> I know how to get there without going on any major roads. So you're like Dave Nozzle when he drives drunk. He just takes gravel. Bingo. Yeah. Shit's gonna hit the fan, Tyler, and then like Becca's gonna place the bag somewhere else. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking it. lose it. Oh, you haven't used that bag in 19 years. I just gave it away. <laughs> no, and I. Have they a, have a garage sale, and she puts it out, and yeah. he fucking freaks. <laughs> I have an uncle who's like a little bit nutty about this stuff as well. And every year for Christmas, I get some sort of survival thing go straight in the bag. You know that everyone in your family's going. Yeah, Tyler's got a little bit of the uncle in him, kind of. <laughs> I, I see. You're just finding out about this now. I don't force this down on anybody. No, I never said that. Yeah. And I actually, it's, it's kind of cool, but it depends on what the bag looks like. Because if the bag isn't like a cool canvas look to it, it's not as cool. It's like it's black canvas on the outside, and then when it unzips, okay. it's got like the, like the marathon. It's got the, like. Or the uh, when you get picked up by the Coast Guard and they slap that tinfoil blanket on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Those? Like the exactly inside of a North Face yep. uh, Vester. Yep. Not, uh, yeah, Columbia North Face. That is exactly what it is. What if uh, one of the roads is like uh, like just snowed in or something? I can get through that. <laughs> Why, you got a fucking snowplow in your back? <laughs> shovel in there. <laughs> what if you go into the you ditch? Shovel the whole road? Yeah. <laughs> Enough of it. <laughs> what if you go into the ditch? Uh, then we're in a little bit of trouble. You okay, should so plan, have a tow rope in your I car. I do have a tow rope, but if there's no other car to pull me out. Well, you have 100 kids just to have yeah. a game of tug of war. Yeah, hopefully the kids are old enough to push at that point. Well, you could you could just get, you know, get a, like a four-wheeler side-by-side -side with tracks. 
put it on a trailer connected to your pickup. There you the go. pickup goes in the dish. You just yeah, you need a go pickup trailer and side by side. Yeah, yeah, vehicle that you don't ever use because if you use it, then it'll deteriorate and then Correct. it won't be ready for the go time. I mean, the natural progression of of preppers is bag, shelter, vehicle. So I, I've got the bag and shelter ready to go. It's vehicle. So do you so. stock this shelter? No, the shelter is. I thought he was gonna say yes. What? It. I mean, it's. It doesn't have like food and stuff in it, but it's got wood and ways to get. So what power. are you gonna do about food? Hunt. But there's gonna be a period of time when you don't have food. I have access to water and berries and food. I can plant. I'm good to go. But like you got kids and they're gonna get you, hungry pretty. Quick. You're gonna plant what? I mean, there's there's like food plots and stuff. Or well, like what there. if it's the middle of winter though? Then then I'll have to I'll have to do a good job in the summer. I mean, I'm not gonna say this is gonna be easy. I'm just saying I think I can make it. I think see we just my plan it. is is to just as soon as shit hits the fan, I am just gonna follow Tyler, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll just live off of him planting stuff, all the wood that he's chopped. Plus, if you have an extra set of hands, less wood you have to chop. Yeah, more mouths to feed. So right. is this someone else's is this someone else's but shelter? You can also produce the I double know. amount of food. I've I've said enough. <laughs> well, I think what we need to do no, is no and, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna follow you. So I have traps. No, no, no he, genuinely I have traps. Here's what we need to do. This is <laughs> that's you're joking about that. I'm not. You've set up traps. I know they're not set up. I would set them up. Okay, in this but I'll case. be I, like literally, I'll be your shadow. <laughs> it would be not to like that's as your right foot goes forward. My foot will be replacing your foot. Like well, it'll be like you. I've been practicing it for years. Why do you think I Irish goodbye so often? It's the, uh, the art of sneaking away without anyone knowing. Yeah, but we know that you Irish goodbye. Yeah, it's now. Not like, we're like, not we like, literally go like, there goes Tyler yeah. doing his Irish goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we do. And instead of announcing now, that, I'll just got... fucking walk right behind you. <laughs> I'll be long gone. I, here's what I think we need to do. I Like him, Miles and I will pretend to invade just you. And then you need to run course on your plan to see if it, because we can't put holes we in do, your plan. We until... do need to test out your traps. Yeah, we, we can't put holes in the It's like you walk we... up and it's like a fucking just, there's just a rope in a circle on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> he like, uh, like he put leaves over like this, this like booby net to yeah. fall down the hole, but like the, all the leaves blew off. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> or it's just in the middle of a field with no trees and he's got a patch of leaves just in a square <laughs> on the ground. Or just a big cardboard box with a. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just walk right under it. uh, it's just a trail of M&M's to a pile inside the rope. <laughs> yes. <laughs> food, though. Hey. That might get me, though. <laughs> if it's doomsday and I don't have any food, I see Oops, a pile. Of, yeah. It's like day oh, two. Yeah, dude. Oops, kid. Guys, uh, we said it a little bit. I mean, the number one thing, we kind of, we kind of fumbled the go bag here. The number one thing you got to be having at your doomsday shelter is Ice Mountain. Mm-hmm. I mean, Without can you doubt. imagine eating, drinking out of one of those straws that Tyler was talking about? Yeah. How disgusting and warm and not refreshing that would be. So, yeah. question: Do we do we have any idea what the biggest receptacle of water Ice Mountain cells is? It's got to be one of Probably those. Probably the galley. I think they got to have one bigger than that, right? I don't know, Enhance. but whatever it is, I need it at my yeah. shelter. Or you just get one. No, of the actually, ones. I know what I want. I just want a water tower of Ice Mountain. Yeah. yeah Bada bing. Bada boom, bada bang. Gotta be close to the ground yeah. where no one sees it. You get tube, tube well, city down to, down to the shelter. Yeah, no I fancy suppose. designs. But I was gonna say, then you could climb to the top of the Ice Mountain water mm. tower. One, you slapped their logo on the side. Great advertisement. <laughs> In Doomsday, yes. In Doomsday. <laughs> and then you got a good vantage point of any people coming. Mm-hmm. Then you can sink your flamethrower on them. Sniper tower. Yeah. yeah, just hopefully they don't surround the water tower and then you have nowhere to go. At least you got good water to drink, though. Yeah, I'm good you can live up there for years. Yeah, that is true. I would say it's that wa- that water tower will basically be the beacon of the fountain of youth to everyone. <laughs> yeah. That'll That's be the, the doomsday <laughs> scenario. Yeah, that'll be the tip of the ice mountain tip, <laughs> ice mountain mountain. Berg. The tip of the yeah. ice mountain berg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, then it's like you basically just become king of the new whatever world that this is. King of the mountain. Because you have all of the mm-hmm. ice mountain. Yeah. King yeah. Of the yeah. King, king of even, the mountain. King ice of mountain. King of the ice mountain. Not even Luke could get That's up there. That's what they'll call you. King ice mountain. <laughs> and <laughs> you get to decide who gets the sweet nectar of the ice mountain mm-hmm. and who doesn't. I don't see a bad thing here. <laughs> Because if I'm going to die in an apocalypse, at least I want to be hydrated. Absolutely. So, guys, get some ice mountain in that doomsday shelter of yours. <laughs> as, and as I say, prep up. You are a prepper. A little bit. Like, yeah, you, you, you no, you just are. Yeah. I've been thinking about maybe uh, putting in, like an underground shipping container somewhere. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever get that far. I'm not prepared for nuclear fallout in any way, shape, or form. Oh, well, and it's I don't not, think, I don't think do anyone it. is really. Yeah, yeah no, I am. Uh, Mentally or I, physically. Well, I am. Yeah. I have a full nuclear fallout plan. It's die of cancer. Pretty much. Yeah. Do I want to live in a world where, where everything's nuclear fallout exactly. anyways? That's no. exactly it. Just first one, North Dakota gets bombed. Just put a pillow over my face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, yeah. run towards the light. Um, DoorDash doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> I think that I'm, I think that I'll just come here. It's not a bad place to be. A lot maybe, of concrete. A lot of concrete. The, the, with a lot of windows, though, too. So I'm going to have to maybe board some shit up. It's also good for surveillance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a rooftop. I can see all angles. Mm-hmm. Tall enough to where it's hard to get up. Yep. Wait, they, if they stack yeah. a ladder, I just grab the ladder and flip it. <laughs> you also, I mean, you know this building better than anybody. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, like you may have a, like a secret door in the concrete out in the out in the warehouse. I wish I would have thought of that. That's a really, that really cool. good idea. That's actually kind of sick. Yeah, <laughs> like in your office, if you had like a secret like bookshelf door. God, my next house, I'll do that. How's that sound? Then I'll show That'd you guys. That'd be so sick. Then it won't be secret anymore. You can't show us. Well, see, that's what I want you to think. That mm. That's the actual yeah. one. Yeah. You're going to turn into a bookworm and then have a bookshelf. Yeah. yeah. Bookshelf, you just <laughs> pull one of them. <laughs> Who's making that, by the way? <laughs> like, what, Same person that makes the fucking... Uh, what company the, makes the whoever, lever? You, whoever makes that for you, you have to kill them after. Well, no. Then, so Then they'll know. That's true. Because they'll is, know what book it is. Yeah. I'll just pick a really <laughs> old guy and then poison him. <laughs> <laughs> and then just say he died of natural causes. Yeah. Uh, it's a perfect crime. Insulin underneath the tongue. Yep. Mm. If you're not diabetic, not insulin's killable, and it, the wound under the tongue will heal before they even die. Yeah, tongue's a natural healer. Mm-hmm. So you're just going to have to somehow get him to open his mouth so you can shoot <laughs> insulin underneath his tongue. Oh, yeah. Well, he'll be in awe of, <laughs> yeah. of the contraption we built. Okay, in awe. In awe. <laughs> oh, now I get why they call it that. Yep. That's where that phrase comes from. But no, see, I'm going to build a diversional b- diversional secret room. Mm-hmm. So I'll be like, oh, guys, this is my secret room. And then you guys will be like, where is he? And then they'll check the secret room. He? He's like, he must not be hey, here. You were speaking <laughs> of traps, World War II, they would set super obvious traps to get the enemies to stop so snipers could pick them off. That is a really good idea, actually. I'm going to put that in my repertoire. First, I need to get a sniper. (laughs) And then I need to get a a fake trap. Yep. And a lot of leaves. I'd be lying if I said I hadn't ran something through Mm -hmm. my head, but not like I don't have it. I don't tweak the diagram because I don't have a diagram. Uh, I don't either. I just have one. I just think all the world leaders are all talk anyways. Yeah. Don't don't provoke them. Yeah. Well, no. Well, if anyone's Yeah, they'll say anything about that on this podcast they'll get provoked the quickest way to get you to do anything is to tell you you can't do it no it's just like i don't think they have the balls exactly in modern day i just don't think it's gonna happen necessarily i hope not i don't i don't think it will too much red yeah too much everything too many movies that people have watched yeah Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. but it's good that you're prepped tyler yep seems like time well spent you got a you got like a like a uh what a gps phone or whatever satellite phone. uh satellite yeah. phone yes i do do you actually hmm? you got minutes on no that no no i have a no you I, don't it's not a phone i just have a gps like a satellite oh. gps oh. okay okay you gotta get one of them phones i uh, know what do you do when it runs out of batteries it's solar powered smart 
I wouldn't have thought of that. That's really good. <laughs> Pretty <would've> that. <laughs> right away. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> So oh yeah, fucking batteries, huh? You I mean, got a bag honest, of batteries. Honestly, the the biggest threat to me is a bunch of cloudy days. There's a lot of shit solar powered. You can still get some. Oh, you get you get power. I can get, you can get burnt enough. on a cloudy day. I also have crank power, yeah, which I've been practicing on for since I was 13. Uh, but you just crank shit to that get power, yeah. flashlights and fire starters and whatnot. Yeah, hey, honey, I'm gonna go crank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, you do your business and then come back when you're done. <laughs> My dad's got one of those crank radios. You got a radio too, by the way? You throw AM on or something? I don't. I should get a radio though. You should, yeah. See what's um, going on. <sighs> yeah, you want to snap? You want to want to nab a police scanner on your way out of town? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just find you on Snap Map. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you say it? Now he's. Yeah. We'll turn it off. <laughs> um, it has never been on, guys. No, speaking of the batteries, I actually over Christmas had an unbelievable dad battery thing happen. So, one of my nieces or nephew got a toy that required C batteries. Didn't know there was such a thing. Right, it's in between B and D. Sure, yeah. Right. D cell. Yeah. What What does a C battery look like? It's just smaller than a D. <laughs> like I'm because D is the square rectangle dude with that'll D-cell, shock your yeah. tongue. Yeah, this one's just not as big as that. Okay. And they put it in the toy, and it didn't work. Obviously, the battery expired. In 2014. <laughs> and you had this? No, my parents did. Mm. Holy shit. When did they acquire said battery? <laughs> well, he probably needed it for one thing, and it came with two batteries. So what else is he going to need? It? That's a, a, true. A C, what are they got? Fucking C-cell? Yeah, two. I have no idea. So batteries got to last how many years? Five? Jerry, can you look About up that, a C yeah. battery? So they acquired this battery when I was a junior in high school. And they still had it. And they moved once. <laughs> <laughs> well, the ju- yeah, the junk drawer just, you know, you dump it in one, take it out of one, dump it in the other. Ten years. Ten years. Well, so that means they've had it since 2004? Mm-hmm. Jesus. What does it look like? Mm, I don't know. Let's look it up. You just go to... Yeah. It looks just like a D oh, it's a Oh, it's a little stubby, like a little chode. Yeah. <laughs> looks familiar. <laughs> so you that was right. just a little side story. Oh, who the fuck's making toys in 2023 that need a C battery? By that's the a great way, question. Um, probably the, a company that makes C batteries. batteries. Yeah, 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 yeah that's actually it. they should just they should just send the batteries with it. They should. They should send the first set. Most kids' toys do now. They come with at least a couple batteries. Yeah, yeah. usually triple A's. Do you guys understand how expensive batteries are these days? Yes. I went, I, I went and bought eight D cell batteries for my uh, smoke alarms, mm-hmm. and then I bought, uh, fuck, it was a C twenty five oh five, one of the little circle ones for the key fob of my truck. Yep, the ones you swallow. Correct. Yes. Yep. Okay. Those are good. Yep. Yep. Forty. <laughs> yeah, they kind of look like a Nabisco disc or whatever yeah. they're called, the little yep. candy things. <laughs> yeah. Fifty or forty two bucks. Yeah. The- even at like guys, we're getting old. <laughs> yep, <laughs> and it, we're and getting old if we're sitting around bitching about battery <laughs> prices. They always have been too. This is the moment. <laughs> we're well, then I got home and then stuff. I realized I only have one AAA and two double A's left, and I didn't even buy any of those. Costco. So th- those would have been another forty nine dollars probably for yeah. the two of them. Yeah, Costco, so you get the big bad boys for like the same as you would ten of them at like Walmart. Yeah. yeah. But you only got 10 years. <sighs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. But once you have kids' toys, you burn through triple A's like fucking candy. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to burn them. My kids That's leave. how you get rid you of burn them, Jared. candy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Should we start the podcast? I think we already started, but. I think that was a cold open. Late, late intro. Ready, Ryan? Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> That was a concerning noise. Oh my God, that's cold. Oof, Welcome God. back to You Bet Your Radio Podcast, Colts Podcast in all the Midwest miles. You Bet Your Guy with Ryan T-shirt guy. We're live in Tyler's bomb shelter. <laughs> <laughs> we are live. Hey, would probably be a great place. You, do you have a podcast set up for us? 
Uh, I don't know. Because it doesn't matter if there's a doomsday or not. We need to get the podcast <laughs> out to the listeners. Do you have that set up? Not yet. Do you no. have a crank? So right. <laughs> so Jake's just going to have to crank the electricity the whole time in order for us to talk. And then it's like, it's like all of a sudden just cuts off. Sorry about that. Jake had to take a pee. We are back up live, though. S- somebody did comment. I don't know where I saw it. I was like, why is Jake on the podcast? What does he do there besides get made fun of by Miles? <laughs> oh. uh, nothing. That's about it. Like, so, yeah, he's defenseless. It's best, you know, yep. it's best time. Can we podcast from your bomb shelter? I don't have a bomb shelter. What's it? Whatever. Uh, what do you call Tuesday it? Shelter. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, bullshit. No. You just called it a shelter. We can't. You kept There's it no, modest. We, we can't. We'll do, we won't disclose the location. And this actually be great. We'll do a trip. Or, we'll do a road trippers episode there. But me and Ryan and Jared will be blindfolded. <laughs> so we don't know where we're going. Oh, you could you bring us there if we were blindfolded? Yes. I'd do that. The whole time I, I would I'll, just be counting the amount of seconds. <laughs> so then I would know if we were going about yeah. this much miles per hour. Here's the radius and then just yeah. find it. Hey, I saw Liam Neeson do it one time on Taken. I know I can yeah. do it. <laughs> I would be I would get blindfolded. I would do that. To go Same. to go here. Yeah. It might be a great place to drink beers at, actually. Yeah. It's a phenomenal place to drink beers at. Then maybe we can help you set up those traps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you looking to logic. trap animals or are you looking to trap humans mostly animals mostly but if i get my leg caught in a fucking rabbit trap you're not yeah, gonna be upset but it's some <laughs> rabbit <laughs> tra- <laughs> your toe. Rabbit just, they're usually like the, yeah. the like the rectangle wire wow. like. yeah. for rabbits i would, I would <laughs> just set, foot stuck in i would just set snares <laughs> If you get caught in a snare, <laughs> you just, you're doing he something just steps wrong. inside of the wire, like the wire box, <laughs> yeah. foot caught. Well, fuck you, know me. I get talking and I just get animated. <laughs> I don't look where I'm going. I got a nasty infection. <laughs> I, I imagine, you know, it's like when you do a normal house tour, like Tyler would just give us a house tour, and it, but it's just one room. <laughs> So here is like where I'm probably going to sit if I get annoyed at the rest of my family in this corner. <laughs> and then this is the corner where I'll probably like read books to my kids. <laughs> this is the kitchen corner. And this is the corner where we all sleep. And then right in the middle is where we do activities. Right in the middle is, is uh, like one of those excavators that they have at the playgrounds where you can lift P rock with for the little, little <laughs> yeah. kids. His, his kids are just like lifting dirt in the middle of the room. Yep. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, you blind, you, you could pick you the blindfold, blindfold the <laughs> fuck out of me. And, and I'll put two on. can we go this? I mean, we, we, it's a dumb question. If we can go it's, this, there's time no way. Is there a really stove go. in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is great. <laughs> We could bring, yeah, I'll bring a frozen pizza. It's a wood stove. It's well, not like a, even better. I'll yeah. bring a pizza stone. Yeah, it'll be like yeah. we're it'll be like we're Luke from the Outdoor Boys Channel. Yeah, it's exactly what. It'll could be. we podcast from out there? Can we do some bush if crap we while the, we're out I don't there. Think we could pull it off. If we why wrap, not? You said you got fucking solar panels and a whole grid out there. Uh, there's no solar panels out there. I'll get the water from the well. <laughs> there, there is. Do you think we could pull that off? Maybe. That'd be, that'd be sick. It would be a really cool. You imagine? Place to I'm guessing it's about an hour away. Uh, a little longer. That's hour what he wants us to think. It's definitely. It is a, a little longer. Probably a le- little less than an hour. Actually, so it's literally <laughs> around freezing. <laughs> it's right Close around about where he, 55 minutes. So look at this. We just there's just not that many abandoned shelters around there. We gotta get There's on. There's actually a lot. We gotta get on the Onyx app and just start clicking on stuff. See who owns what. And if he does any relation to Tyler, <laughs> he's getting a little yeah, nervous right. now. You you would find it. Yeah. Find it. Uh, we won't tell anyone though. An you wouldn't hour. be able to see it though from the aerial. How insane would you go if you spent an hour and about ten to fifteen minutes? Blindfolded in a car. I, I, you, you, it'd be great to do a road trip versus blindfolded. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't do it. I would do it. No, if we get the opportunity to come to this place, I think we could do it. I think Ryan could do the blindfolded for an hour. I don't think you could. Hey, hey, just don't sleep the night before. Then you just take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad idea. A good episode of Road Trippers. <laughs> <laughs> we, road Trippers on the way back. This episode is a snooze fest. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it would be a lot of, what, what do you see now, Tyler? <laughs> uh, fields. Can you imagine being a car rolling up next to us on the road? And, no, we look like hostages. Yeah. <laughs> and Tyler's like, no, trust me. They volunteered for this. It's not what you think. I'm just picturing like a burlap sack. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a burlap sack taped around the neck. I was thinking yeah. maybe more like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles type of blindfold. No, I don't trust those. You guys could pull those off too easy. I want to wear the red one. I'm just thinking, uh, yeah. think of like a, just like a, um, like a big neoprene knee sleeve. Yep. Something big enough to go over the, you know, <laughs> over the face. <laughs> hey, they, they make a those. used one too. <laughs> We could probably get one on Marketplace pretty cheap. They make those neoprene things for your head for like headaches. Yeah. Oh yeah, they have like a hangover oh, one yeah. now. Yep, throw in the freezer or something. Mm -hmm. We uh, yeah, we could throw one of those over our eyes. Yeah, freezer. I would trust that. I'd do it. God, it's neoprene. <laughs> you can stay warm. How in, much in neoprene cold water you got at the with shelter. a neoprene suit? Yeah. Uh, not a What ton. happens if you're fucking around with one of your traps in the in the in the tree? You know, like I got waiters. Those then, are neoprene. Then, like, you bum up your knee. You aren't going to be able to go to the doctor. How are you going to? You got a splint and shit? And just cut it off. And Cauterize it kids, on the wood stove. Yeah. <laughs> kids can use me. Do a little cotty job on that, yeah. on that <laughs> leg of yours. <laughs> yeah, pizza's got about seven, eight more minutes left, though, so you have to wait till that. <laughs> <laughs> As he's bleeding out on, on the ground. <laughs> Hey, save that blood. It's got good iron in it. You can produce it for later. <laughs> you guys could eat your leg. Yeah, or you know, yeah. For, if they're not there yet. Little, the calf might be a little yeah. chewy, but... Hey, kids, we're, we're having calf tonight. <laughs> could, you, could you eat your own leg and actually get sustenance from it? I would venture to say, yeah. If, yeah. So, like, I'm starving to death. Like, 127 hours. You've seen that movie... James Franco, where he gets stuck in the rock. I yep. haven't seen it, but I know of it. It's a long movie. So, like, what could he have just eaten his finger or something? And for and what reason? He's he's stuck. He cannot move. He he's starving. dying, starving. Yeah, he had There's no gotta food. There's got to be calories in the skin, right? right? Yeah, kind of like a, like a like a flat chicken chicken wing. Yeah, almost. <laughs> yeah, you eat around the bone. Flats are better. Regardless, it's the time. things you have to think about, Tyler. Mm -hmm. If you were a true prepper. Yeah, I'm. I'm hoping in the you got canned goods out there. Yeah, fuck. Off. I'm. I'm hoping like I'm good for like a month. Non I'm just hoping the conflict resolves itself. Otherwise, then it's gonna get real. Yeah, rugged. but you'll you'll start. And I'm to, not prepped for that. Like in the midst of that month too, you'll be you'll be doing shit like yeah. that though too. You know, I, I will be. So, so that'll this, prolong. Because your... a shelter can only support you for one month. Well, like that's if it's bad enough for you to have to go to a shelter, it's gonna not get resolved in a month. Yeah, I mean that's where I know that we will be comfortable for like a month, <laughs> and then it's gonna get real, real dark for a while. It's gonna get hairy. You think yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you don't eat the the way it is, so you just you probably won't True. eat most days. No, it's a good diet plan, actually. Maybe yeah, there's you some. Could, if you need to lose a little weight, just go do a run through. Yeah, you gotta make because part of it is you need to know the routine, make your kids do it. Yeah. You know? You can do the run through while we're blindfolded in the back seat. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. If, if he keeps it up, we're going to have to put him in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Cop pulls over. Let's see what's in the trunk. And Ryan's like, you know, Ryan just randomly sings things. He's just in the trunk singing to himself. No, he does one of his weird grunt noises and it sounds like he's struggling back yeah. there. <laughs> but instead, he's just like curled up with his hand by his head. And he's just like, uh. hey, here's what we, instead of blindfold. Are we there? Yeah. Okay, Sir, about, are you okay? Will you guys let me out yet? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> what you could let us do instead of the blindfold, we could just have VR uh, VR headset on. Oh, that's good. That way we could be watching mm -hmm. shows and shit while we're on our way there. Yeah, we could watch Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. Get prepped. You should terrified. also have VR headset for entertainment in this bomb shelter. I didn't think a VR headset. That'd be good. Because then it's like, you're yeah. not even stuck in here. You can go anywhere. Well, yeah, you can take like, like 360 photos of your house now and then put that in the VR headset. And yeah. It feels like you're at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I can build my own shelter in the VR headset and then just not want to come out of it when we get there. <laughs> exactly. This place is way better. <laughs> um, feels like home. God, what was I going to ask? You got cameras out there? Trail cameras, yeah. Cell link? You got it all. 
Well, I got some I got some uh, canned beans in my basement, some green beans. I do. I've seen them. I got a pretty healthy stash. Yeah, you better pack those. They're already packed. They're they're already all strung together. So I just got to grab the one string. Perfect. That's <laughs> smart, Ryan. See, he's thinking. I mean, I got enough ammo to last. Don't even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got enough ammo to last me about six months. Weeks. Well, it only ever takes me one shot. So if I have a box of twenty, I got twenty animals. Just <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, not even necessarily thinking animals wise. But oh, you're thinking zombies. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Tyler, that is, I, I, I I'm not it, shocked, but I am shocked at the links you've gone. Like, once you started with the bag, I was like, oh yeah, that totally seems like Tyler. But the fact, I mean, it's not that like you have a complete shelter set up. It's not like I went and built it. No, I'm not saying that. Hey, what, just, if, what if, like Luke from the Outdoor Boys Channel? What if he got to the shelter and someone else started there? <laughs> <laughs> there is a chance of that. Then are you going to fight them, or are you going to try to make friends, or are you going to go somewhere else? Depends who it is. What if it is... What if it's Jake? <laughs> I, I mean, that, one, that won't take much. I'd probably try to talk him out of leaving before fighting him out of leaving. I don't know, Tyler. I think you just got to be friends with them, knowing that one of you is going to kill each other in the end. Yep. It's kind of a well, poetic TV show type yeah. of situation. <laughs> and now that I know you have this, I I'll, I kind of have to have my own too. So you I'm should. Gonna, I'll should start workshopping that in my brain tonight when I'm sleeping. If you get a good one, then we can we can get some direct cells to each other's bunkers. Yeah, get we a little fucking two- ham radio going. Yeah, yeah we get fucking oh, two way yeah. radios. Mm-hmm. Where are you at? What you hauling? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just the same oh, thing yeah. every day. <laughs> beans. <laughs> where are you at? What you hauling? Beans. Where are you at? What you hauling? <laughs> Corn. What you thinking about? <laughs> I don't know. I okay, the- is, this might be a dumb question, but let's say there was crop up in the field at this time that you have to evacuate. Would you, I mean, could you just eat that crop? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the ideal scenario is a summer invasion, like August. Fuck yeah. Because then you got plenty of time to stock up on it. You can eat it while you're there. Yeah. yeah. Wheat harvest in yeah. August usually. Oh, that'd be nice. Make some yeah, you can make some bread, homemade like, bread with honey, honey butter. butter. <laughs> yep. I was about to say yep. that. Like Luke from the Outdoor Boys channel. Just have a shitload of honey butter. <laughs> you should. You should get some non-perishable honey <laughs> butter at the bottom. Yeah. Soybeans. Yeah. My, ideal, powder. Yeah. my ideal go bag would be all the necessities and then have a second go bag just full of honey <laughs> butter. Is it loose or is it in containers? Is it just the bag filled uh, with honey butter? Loose. No, it's like the little bears. Just okay. like a bunch of the little bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My go bag would have Luke from the Outdoor Boys channel in it. Yeah. All the videos downloaded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's smart, actually. Yeah, yeah actually. he'd have his old computer hard drive. <laughs> he'd have college. a spank bank and downloaded <laughs> all of... Uh... That's the only thing in his go bag is just the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Wrong hard drive. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, well, I honey. guess it's fine, but... That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jared, you had a segment for us today. Uh, I think the segment, I mean, yeah, the segment almost has to be twisted. Go ahead. Sorry. What is, what does every good bomb shelter need? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. That's the segment. All right, guys. The next segment is what does every doomsday shelter need? Tyler, you start us off. I mean, if we're taking this seriously, the number one thing you need is access to water. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> what? i mean or you could just think ahead and stock up on ice mountain that's true, yeah, that is true. i mean the yeah, water i'm working cat, with you know, though you only got we got a quarter ton pickup half ton i don't fucking know going fit so much ice like he's got an eighth ton pickup well he's got, he's got the mid the mid size i don't know if yeah. it's gotta be a little bit smaller but yeah that's a uh, you ever see uh, access to water is big yep. i didn't know i was thinking more like accessories oh okay you ever seen like those filters yep the that straws. you can suck out of the Got no one. if you talk to my boy luke from the outdoor boys channel you want to get the one with the bag and then you hold it above and it drains and filters in oh your water yeah bottle. i've seen him use that i don't one. have that one. i have the one where yeah. it's just a straw and you can stick it in any water and it filters. so what are you gonna do you're gonna suck it in your mouth and then spit it into a canister <laughs> and do that yeah, no i'm just gonna drink it no, but then you gotta walk to the water supply every time you want to drink a water. Times are that tough, is true. Miles. 
Or I could just get a bucket of water, bring it into the place. That's like, right. hey, okay. <laughs> hey, I, you're right. Your dad wouldn't need any water. Yeah, I mean, they, they, really, that's it's not an essential. For <laughs> no. My, dad. Yeah, no. my dad hasn't drank a glass of water in 18 years. <laughs> yeah. He, the last time that he had a glass of water was when he bought those C batteries <laughs> in 2004. You should, next time you're hanging out with him, for whatever reason, just get yourself a glass of water and get him one too. Yeah. Here you go, Dad. Yeah. What the thirsty. fuck is this? Is there vodka in here? Yeah, is this vodka? <laughs> Why does it smell like tequila? What's going on? I would love for you to actually do that and report back. I'll try it. I'll try and get my dad to drink water. <laughs> we asked him to tell you asked him if he loved you. Yeah. Dad, let me next- uh I'll mix you uh, <laughs> I'll mix you a tequila soda here and then just put water, sparkling water in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, this is going down easy. <laughs> it's good. weird. My muscles are starting to feel good and my head's <laughs> clearing up. Not the oh, this is tequila's good. What is, what is this? Uh it's actually a new H2O tequila. <laughs> Uh, it's actually a new drink. They call it a blue dolphin. Yeah. 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 No fucking, shit. Fucking BD. Okay. So Tyler needs water. Ryan, what do you need at your doomsday shelter? Why well, water? Yes. But I think I probably need my cold plunge there. <laughs> Cause if I'm, if I need to be sharp at all hours of the day, I have to be doing cold water therapy. <laughs> you're starving and you're well, just and in the you're cold gonna be doing a lot of manual labor, chopping of woods, setting mm-hmm. up traps, yeah. farming. You're gonna need to recover that body of yours. Well, yeah, and also I I gotta stay clean too, because when you when you feel good, you look good. <laughs> when you <laughs> when you're <laughs> that came it was opposite. It, yeah, yeah, yeah look you good, got feel it. Good, feel like um, but yeah, I mean, you could also double it as a bathtub as well. So, oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. You gotta stay clean. Yeah, hygiene is more important. Hygiene is huge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, a little toothbrush holder on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the people out there coming after me, they're gonna be, they'll be. Sweating for days. Their hair, hair will be so greasy. <laughs> that just puts me one level up on them. That's true, Ryan. Jared, what do you need? I need a, like a shitload of contacts. I thought you were going to say condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I need a shitload of condoms. I, if, I have another, if I have a kid, then that's another mouth to feed. <laughs> No, Jared, I've thought about that a bunch of times too. Uh, Contacts are tough. Yeah. You're gonna have to be a glasses guy. I have three I pairs. Mm-hmm. In your go bag? No, I have one pair in my go bag. Oh my god! But I, I own. What I own. the ones that you're wearing? How are much shits in this go bag? A lot. It's a big. Can bag. you send us a photo of it? Sure. And then also send us the GPS coordinates <laughs> of, of your shelter. No, I just every time I. I get a free pair of glasses every year with insurance and I just, that's the new pair and the other pairs go and I don't get rid of them. That's smart. I, my shelter is going to need for sure a flamethrower. Hell yeah. (laughs) Hell yeah. Multi-use. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of uses you could use for that. You could reverse sear a steak. Oh yeah. You're going to come if, if it's doomsday and people are invading and you're what you're going to roll up to a uh, shelter with a guy standing outside with a flamethrower. Okay. Let me put a hole in that real quick. What if it's drought? No one gives a shit. If it's a drought, Yeah, you know. burn the whole fucking forest. Down. I'm trying to live. <laughs> That's actually great for regrowth. Yeah. Okay. I that's actually, I mean, it's actually. Well, and you guys know me. I'm a big controlled burn guy. <laughs> so, well, you'd everyone, have a, knows you'd have, everyone knows I'm a big controlled burn. Yeah, you'd have a moat of ice mountain around the entire property. Yeah, it's just not something I'm that worried about. <laughs> Plus, not, nothing's a pain more than a pain. Trust me, I've watched Luke from the Outdoor Boys channel <laughs> struggle many times to start a fire, especially with wet wood. Mm-hmm. He hates wet wood. And it's, yeah, you fucking light that shit up right away. <laughs> The only thing is, I think I'm gonna run out of propane. Is it propane? Probably use it or gasoline or for what? What kind of fuels the? I think it's kerosene. Kerosene. I could see kerosene. Yeah. Kerosene. I don't know for sure. (laughs) Who would soak a rope in kerosene? (laughs) Heated oil or diesel fuel. Perfect. I'll get a diesel truck. Yeah. And then, well, no, no, that'll be in the go bag. The the part of the go bag is a diesel pickup. No, on my way out of town, I'm definitely just going to steal a, a diesel gas tanker. 
Yeah, that's that smart. What you could that do. actually would be really smart. That yeah. dude on uh, The Last of Us, when he had his own little doomsday village, did that. He stole like a giant fuel truck. What you could do is you could just put diesel on the top of your tank. I bought half a tank of fuel. Put diesel on the top, so by the time you get to your destination, all that good fuel is gone, and you just got diesel in the pickup now. Mm. A little siphon action. I don't know if that's how it works, but I mean, if you're if you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna siphon matter. something. I'm not worried about how long my truck's gonna last. You know, sorry about keeping that where I'm sitting. Just gotta get you there. Um, so flamethrower, I think, in many occasions would be great. Could melt snow with it. Flamethrower would be sweet. Um. I just don't see a scenario where a flamethrower is a bad choice. I mean, I don't know. I might have missed this, but you could. That's just how you start your fires to cook food. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you can reverse sear a steak. You could. Yeah, you can make anything. You could have a pizza cooked in about fifteen seconds. Right. Like no, yeah. you don't even need to just you, leave your you've flame heard of thrower coal on fired it. and wood fired. Have you heard of flame fire. thrower <laughs> fire? <laughs> Flamethrower. I'm going to have a long time sitting there by myself <laughs> to think of a new name. But yeah, you're also going to get bored. You're just going to just fire off the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, that was going to be my next my next important thing to have in your doomsday shelter. The deck of cards. Deck of cards would be nice. Yeah. You got one of them? I do. Not in the bag, no. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. Just don't forget. No, the way but there's no the first thing he's going to do when he gets home, though. Add a deck of cards. Yes. <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the way out. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that made no sense. So you want to add deck cards. What else do you want, Ryan? Well, you're obviously going to need some sort of heat, right? You're going to need a good heat source. So probably uh, infrared sauna. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, number one, you can start it up and you can leave the door open and it's going to heat the entire place. Number two, again, exfoliates the skin, keeps you sharp, keeps the muscles loose, mm -hmm. chop more wood. You can hunt for longer hours. You can outrun the opponent, the enemy, if you will. So, I mean, it, to me, I mean, you could, you could probably cook an egg on an infrared sauna too, couldn't you? I mean, I think the, the problem with the infrared sauna, Ryan, is you got to have a lot of work to do when you're out here trying to survive. So I think sauna pants might be the better yeah. option. Oh, so you I could can, sauna while I'm working. You could yeah. be saunaing while you're sawing. Yeah. Yes. So I, yeah, your... your yeah, the the route in your head is much better than mine. The other, I'm not thinking of that. You're on the right track, though. The yeah. other big essential that I'm going to need is a meat locker. Yeah, place to store food is a big deal. Like uh, a full meat locker or just like a... Yeah, like a, a walk-in freezer. Oh, okay, sure. Big metal door. <laughs> um, I'd say probably the size of this room. Because you guys know me, I'm a sharpshooter. I'm going to shoot every animal I can, freeze it up, and I got food all winter yeah. long. Yeah, you let them hang there in age. That's one of, yeah. some of the best meat. Yeah, it's like a heavy bag. Yeah. Like yeah. a meat locker actually would be sick. Yep. Because I watched Alone one too many times, and the guy had to, like, makeshift his own meat locker, and then, like, he had to smoke it first in order uh -huh. to keep it. So all this stuff, I'm like, God, it just sounds like. Well, I've heard that you can bury it. You can bury meat, and it keeps. Kind of like a dry age type yeah. of vibe. Like you just dig like a, a five foot hole and you cover the meat completely with dirt and it doesn't go bad. Mm -hmm. You might want to check on that. I, I I should. Yeah. Kind of like a I've luau. How they how they cook the yeah. pig. Yeah. So this is just to like store it. Actually, Luke from the Outdoor Boys Channel should come up with a Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide <laughs> type of scenario where it's just a booklet of all the little stuff like that that he knows that I need to know. Yeah. Put that in your prep bag. I have a book. I mean, if, if I'm going to buy one. You do have a book? Yeah. I What's got, it called? It's called like Outdoor Survival Guide or something. Called the Bible. I'll send you a picture of it. Uh, it's Ed's Survival yeah, Guide. Yeah, it's Ed's Outdoor it's Survival Ned's Guide. Ned's dad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that didn't go how I thought it was going to, but <laughs> it's it's a great life lesson, though. You just never know when it's time to go. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think even if nothing ever happens, it's kind of a fun hobby to collect this shit. I knew that was where I, this was going. I, I, I'll, <laughs> She's gonna I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. Yeah. I kind of, I, I do need to take a peek at this said bag. Okay. How heavy is this bag? Because every year you add stuff to it. I mean, it's just going to slow you down. Yeah, maybe 20 pounds. You got to get, <sighs> I think, I think you got to get, you got to disperse it into like bags your kids could carry. Yeah. Do you have a fold-out saw? Uh-huh. 
smart. Where'd just you a get ha- smart? Just a hand one, though. Yeah. Where'd you get that? that it's too. my old one from <laughs> bow hunting. <laughs> so like, I got a new one that's a better pull saw, and I just put the old hand saw in the go bag. Yeah, I would have done that. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. I yep, was gonna yep. say that too. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't get rid of your old hunting saws. They they make good go bag saws. Yeah, save them. <laughs> I don't know what else I was going to do with it. You got a buck knife in there? I do. Yeah, I would have thought of that too. <laughs> um, you got you got any lube? I don't. Oh, need the lube. I have some antiseptic though. Mm. Oh, you have WD forty? No. Might be handy. That's a, not a bad idea. You got to bring some cash with maybe. Maybe. What was it called when you saw the wood? It was called the buck. When we went to the lumberjack games, what's it called? Oh, double buck and buck. Yeah, when you're bucking out yeah. there, you're gonna need some WD forty to make sure the yeah. saw stays lubed up. Can't yeah. find it. Yeah. <laughs> you might have to get a second gold bag just for cash. Yeah. That's a good idea. I got <laughs> then, and then if you're if you're really fucked up, like if someone actually does get you, then you can just offer them the bag of cash. I can say pretty confidently that I've ne- I haven't bought any of these items myself. I've just collected them over the years. You just have a list that you send to your uncle every Christmas. Via gifts or they're like ex hunting things. I like that, Tyler. Yeah. That's why I think we've accurately said that in a doomsday scenario, Tyler's living the longest. I think we said that. Yeah. And now he's just living up to the. And I, and I, I said then too that I had a go bag and we didn't make a deal out of it then. Uh, That was back when I was drinking heavy though. I was probably shit face. I don't know. I probably had about 15, 16 rips of that hookah. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was nowhere I was to be seen around 16 rips deep on the hookah. So. After six, I'm uh, gone. Lights were on. No one was home. I yep. got to get a gold bag now. I feel left out. It's kind I'm, of fun. I'm going to I'm gonna fucking start one probably tonight. Yeah. I got it. a bunch of old stuff laying around. I can just bag no, I'm it buying up. all brand new stuff to ensure it's good. <laughs> hey, all of his stuff is in like... That really fucking hard plastic. It's like a panic situation of like, and you just like fucking can't get it open. Yeah, like his knife is in one of those packages and he he can't get anything open because he doesn't have his knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bought a new knife. It came in the package. So at Still least one of those things. You got I just have to fucking flamethrow it all to melt the plastic. Uh... I mean, I potentially yeah. just saved you from death. Thank you, Ryan. Your go bag is just a big Amazon box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the bag hasn't even yeah. taken out. And he ordered like the mini one. Instead. No, because so it's, like, it's on, over the shoulder bag. <laughs> on Amazon, you can choose to ship it in one box all at one time. You just click that option. And then you just don't ever open it. <laughs> yeah. That's it's a, a great idea. So you actually. open the box, and then inside the box are those stupid little <laughs> white Amazon bubble bags. Yeah. And yeah. inside the bubble bags is the hard plastic. Yeah. Tyler, on your way out there, you maybe just throw a quick Amazon order in yeah. out to the property. Just yeah. have it drone it delivered. Because there's yeah. going to be some, if you are on the doomsday early <laughs> enough, there's going to be some leg time before shit shuts down. Yeah. Yeah. And I, about one day, if you do Amazon one day at there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. I have a, my Prime membership is also in my bag just for this, this, nice this one, case. Nice Tyler. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah, I'm gonna get to the shelter. I start fucking priming shit that I forgot. <laughs> I like the idea of like shit hitting the fan and Amazon still delivering stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's like an episode of South Park. Uh, right, yeah, exactly. they're like they're like the medics, like in the in the old like w- world wars or whatever civil wars, where if you're wearing like the medic patch yeah, yeah. You, they can't shoot at you right, yeah. <laughs> it's the amazon driver yeah. got, they, they change the colors to red on the vehicles like don't, don't shoot don't shoot they're it's important. amazon they're important <laughs> <laughs> all right should we take a break yeah. Yeah. yeah ryan you know what i'm doing on my way out of town headed to tyler's shelter i mean you gotta you gotta stop and get some supplies somewhere. i gotta swing on through holiday gas stations get Bye. some diesel by every single cinnamon roll sandwich. Yes. And and what? Jared? And uh Celsius energy. Okay, and then uh, yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Mm-hmm. Uh buy two get one free any 12 ounce or 16 ounce Celsius energy. So if I have one a day for the next 10 years, then I need 3560 
Celsius. Mm-hmm. Celsii. Celsii. And but with this deal, I only got to buy like somewhere around seventeen hundred of them. Yeah, I mean you can't pass some of those savings. <laughs> yeah, honestly, you, you, you do would the be math. saving a shitload. You'll be saving a shitload of money. We got a bag of cash on you too. Yeah. So, give I'm, I'm gonna be yeah. Give me all of the cases from the back too. <laughs> mm-hmm. sure, these you are might as ones. well just when the Celsius <laughs> truck rolls up to holiday. You might as well just stop them and redirect them to your shelter. <laughs> yeah, no, hey, you follow me, all right? You follow me. Come on, we're going to caravan. Put a blindfold on, though. I don't want you to know where my shelter is. <laughs> and all this can be done at holiday, especially when you're on your way out of town. Well, what's, what, what's rule number one about holiday? You don't want to pass gas. I mean, correct. Even you, in a doomsday scenario, you don't correct. want to pass gas. How do you guys know my doomsday shelter isn't just a holiday? That oh. would be fucking smart. You did say it'd be a great place to pod. Yeah. Hey, it's got a walk-in freezer. Mm-hmm. It's got diesel gas. Access to it's water. Got access to water, food, hey, snacks. Good diesel. shitters. What did they say a flamethrower is made out of? Diesel. Mm-hmm. Lighters. Diesel flamethrower and they gotta Shame. have they got at holiday they gotta sell like the fucking aerosol cans to clean out keyboards yep <laughs> keyboard cleaner fucking yeah don't douse a little gas no you just take wd-40 and a lighter yep. and you're good they got wd-40 there too jared yep that's what i would grab uh um, jared they got condoms too i think <laughs> <laughs> they do no, jared, they generally have readers like glasses so yeah. you could buy a pair of glasses too so like honestly <laughs> Did we just realize that holiday is the best doomsday shelter around? I need to rethink <laughs> the last ten years of planning. Yeah, you Scroll that was the really plan set that down. was really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> See, we had thought that all the way. We were ten years ahead of you. This is classic procrastinate. And then so you're way smarter and you learn new information. You don't waste time, Tyler. <laughs> so guys, doomsday, don't pass gas. Literally go to holiday and make your shelter jared you got some questions for us i do uh emma roids uh, heat would probably be my number one <laughs> <laughs> kidding, sorry sorry we're off doomsday <laughs> uh emma roids asks if you had to be a teacher what would you teach just wouldn't be a teacher <laughs> <laughs> you guys go <laughs> i mean shop or gym right and oh. social studies yeah <laughs> shop or gym social studies you just slap on 300 a couple times a year teach them about the spartans i i think i'd yeah. want to do history just so you don't have to go to any new workshops you yeah, know like they're always inventing point. new maths and they're always <laughs> inventing new scientific methods and gym class you got to learn new activities also history ain't changing baby and so it's you're history. just chilling yeah. One, we're living history too. So today is going to be history in twenty years. We've we've already lived through it. Why do we need to go through a workshop on what happened? I don't know. You know? Yeah. I was there. I was there. Yeah, and tomorrow's a mystery. So <laughs> of course you want to live in history. Yeah, you're just the cool kid at workshop. Like I was there. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of workshops, sorry, were you, were you done? <laughs> well, I don't know if you had any. any I hadn't any, talked in like thirty seconds. <laughs> Okay, yeah, no, I'm, I'm no you go ahead. Sure. Um, I'd probably want to be shop teacher, shop boeg. So I because thought- I, I, that's every kid's favorite part of the day. They get to go out to the shop, or they get to go past the shop to the back and smoke cigs. That, I was just gonna say <laughs> that's they, the reason yeah. I'm taking shop off my list. It's because the kids are always doing hood rat shit in there, and I don't want to deal with it. Well, it's no different than going to the hey. Hey, teach, can I go to the bathroom? Like, hey. Like, yeah, we, but, it's, gonna, but it's I'm also a, a scenario. If you want them to be doing hood rat shit, you should be the guy that they should be doing it around so you can be res- you can make sure everyone's safe, right? Fair. It's I, like I, the parents are like, I don't care if you drink high schooler, but you just got to do it at my house so I know you're safe. Correct. Right? Yeah. And you don't drive. Yeah. I just remember, like, we got in trouble for welding our own sucker spears in shop class. And, like, you guys just can't be making spears at school. You got a spear in that go bag of yours? I don't. <laughs> Fuck. Big mistake. I, yeah. The, I did look at those spears they have at Fleet Farm, though. They're pretty sweet. Yeah. You got you got fishing rod? Like any broken down fishing rod? I don't. Anything? That's a good one. I should idea. get that. That is a good one. Dude, we're so far ahead of him. I know. You, these mentally. are just your ideas. I've done it. Well, I, I, mentally, He's like, I have oh, to. I got a 
fucking uh, GPS thing <laughs> that's solar powered. And it's like, dude, we have phones. Just get a fishing rod. Yeah. You just get a couple extra portable chargers, keep them charged, and then you're, you're good. Yeah. What happens in your chargers? Die? Just, just get electricity. You should be out of collecting your all of those little portable chargers that you get as branded things from corporate companies, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and saving them up and charging them all right before you leave, and then you're good for at least <laughs> ten years. Uh, like go charger. Hey, hey, I know the tanks are getting close to our house, but I gotta wait till these chargers are done. <laughs> yeah, but plus your your truck's gonna be there, so you can just plug it into the <laughs> USB. Also, I think if people are afraid of tanks. You know, yeah, you love pretty tanks. Big. But really, the best place to be when there's a tank is next, right close <laughs> to the tank. Yes, you yeah. know what I mean. You it's can like, run. don't run away from a tank. Run towards a tank. Correct. I mean, most- That's a good life lesson for most things. <laughs> don't run away from your problems. Run to them. <laughs> don't run away from tanks. Run to them. A lot of tanks have a gunner on top for that reason yeah but i'm picturing a world where the gunner isn't there okay <laughs> it's the gun to the front <laughs> yeah so, some tanks, big... well some tanks used to have instead of a gunner a flamethrower guy yeah or they would flamethrow anyone to well, try to I'll get just close quickly disarm him and then i now have a second flamethrower <laughs> yeah yeah your future boy your three four year old boy he's got a flamethrower at his head. hell yeah yeah fucking dual wielding <laughs> kimbo uh flamethrowers <laughs> So this is a little side note about tanks. You're going to want to run towards them. <laughs> I mean, that's a, yeah, that's a great life. Well, lesson. yeah. Then if you like lay flat on the ground, it'll just like drive over you. Yeah. And then you just fucking <laughs> grab onto the back and just drag. <laughs> Hope to God they don't turn. Right. Well, then you just go to the other side. It's like they don't turn that yeah. fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They turn very fast. They're on tracks. Oh, it tracks. I was talking about the fucking little... <laughs> top part. Yeah, oh, you're dragging on the back oh, like a fucking like, missile launcher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the lazy yep. Susan part. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking turntable at the top. Uh, uh Wayne Kinoff asks, <laughs> would you rather have a remote like in the movie Click or your own hot tub time machine? Click hot remote. tub time machine. Click remote. I feel like after you wake up in the hot tub, you you know your skin would not be good. A <laughs> click remote. Is- I just liked hot tub time machine more than like click. I don't even know if I finished click. Oh, click was a great. A it's like it's also like not realistic. Like in real life, yeah, you're gonna have a remote. <laughs> like honestly, while I was watching, I was like, this isn't fucking real. I'm not finishing it. Like it seems like like Adam Sandler is dreaming if he thinks that that's real. Yeah, as soon as he laid down on that bed, you knew he was dreaming. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'm going to go with hot tub time machine. I mean, click remote. You can just rewind. You got a time machine. I know. In your hands. I, did, I know, yeah. but I, I can't backpedal. <laughs> you guys know that. Yeah. I'm also going with the clicker. Yeah. Huge Adam Sandler fan. Too. But everyone thinks that a guy who's got a hot tub's dope, though. That's true. That like, oh, true. you got that fucking dirty remote? Or it's like, that's a sick hot tub. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to come over and get in the same bath as you right. as adults. <laughs> you know, it, it, it is an yeah, it's an odd activity. I like hot tubbing. I love how I had a whole thing about how no one sh- you know, over the age of twenty five should be getting in hot tubs, and then I chose hot tub time machine. <laughs> but it's not a hot tub; it's a time machine. That's true. Yeah, yeah. just in a hot people tub. are in it to relax. They're also, I'm a history travel. teacher as well. I need to go over the past to do. <laughs> Market research. So when you go to the conferences, you can be like, "I was there." Yeah. yeah. No, that's not how it went. Actually, you just need a refresher. Now imagine if instead of Adam Sandler laying down on a bed, he was like, he was at the hot tub store. Yeah. Looking for a hot tub for his house, he <laughs> sat in one. You need a feel for it, and then boom, he's in the past. I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? What, well, that way, that way, what we are we have, imagining? We get, that way, we can meet in the middle on okay. hot tub time yeah. machine or click. Well, what we need is a remote that works the hot tub time machine. Oh, True. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Best of both worlds. Best of both both paths. Have you guys seen Hot Tub Time Machine Two? <laughs> no. God, it is no. terribly underrated. Oh, it's that, it's better wow. than we one. Yeah, better. yeah. I thought you were gonna say it was terrible. Yeah. Well, no, yeah. Terribly yeah. underrated. It's pretty good, actually. Okay. That's the only uh, Blu-ray DVD he brings because he's still got a Blu-ray player at the shelter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I've actually seen hey, it, but the smoke hasn't settled, so I can't give my review mm. on it. 
the steam. He's got one <laughs> Blu-ray in his in his gold bag, and it's hot to time machine settled. two. <laughs> Still above a hundred. Uh, um, Napoleon Bone My Parts asks, <laughs> "What elderly person hobby should be done more by the younger generations? Example: knitting, games, whatever." Mm. It's it's probably thinker. therapy. <laughs> <laughs> like physical therapy because old people are not yeah. going to regular therapy. <laughs> but, You're like, talking physical. Therapy? I meant physical therapy, but it, like it just came out as therapy. Which <laughs> I was sexy with my dad the other day, and I was asking him to pick up the kids. He's like, "Yeah, I can. I just have a therapy appointment at eight a.m." And I was like, "Wow, good for you, Dad." And I texted him that, and he's like, "No physical therapy, you dipshit. <laughs> like never would be seen in a yeah. psychiatry ward." Uh, <laughs> uh, Nate Bargatsky is right when he says that old people love surgeries. I think <laughs> young people should be having more surgeries. <laughs> you know, my dad's having surgery actually tomorrow. Happiest he could be. Oh, yeah. T's and P's. Yeah. He just wakes up in the morning. He's going to pop out of bed. Tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just fucking skipping into the yeah. surgery center. Because well, he's going to go on vacation. He's going to be healthy. He's an off season of concrete. Yeah, it's like, it's like wait a sec. The sur- you're supposed to be skipping out of surgery because you feel so good. But you, you're, <laughs> wait, you got cured by just the thought of that you're going to have surgery today. Does he get a new joint? I don't know what they're doing. I think he said he's gonna, they're going to clean out some junk in his spine. <laughs> it's so, like an oil change. This yeah. is <laughs> super scientific explanation by him. Junk. I'm not, well, he was literally like, I'm like, well, what are they going to do? And he's like, oh, they're just going to like go clean out the junk. <laughs> <laughs> and they know what the junk is. <laughs> he doesn't have junk in his trunk. He's got drunk junk in his spine. <laughs> junk in the frame. It's spinal. <laughs> it's like going to the dentist. I got to clear out some plaque on your teeth. He's got exactly. some plaque buildup on yeah. his spine. <laughs> and the old yeah. C4. I told him at some point you just got to fuse all the vertebrae together. It's just getting out of hand. The whole back issues you got going on. Yeah. Old people, they'd be scheduling surgeries like we're scheduling tea times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very true. Nate Bargatsky hit on the head. Um, Rim Job Randy asks, <laughs> best ways to break the news to parents that your wife is pregnant? A little awkward, right? I, I don't think I'd it's say awkward. awkward. The only thing that you think about a little bit is you tell her parents. Yeah. And then the dad is thinking in his head that you banged my daughter. I mean, at that point, <laughs> he's, he's just, know, that's like the only awkward know. He's just thing. nodding, not saying yeah. anything. He's just like, hmm. Yeah. I'd say <laughs> great. I'd say great. Yeah, that's great. Um, <laughs> hmm. Can't wait. <laughs> How are babies this, made? How are babies made again? Can't wait for this kid to come out of my daughter with half of your seed, <laughs> <laughs> or half, or half, half of you. That's awesome. And all of your seed. Yeah. Well, now I'm thinking about you just being in my daughter. That's, that's the worst. <laughs> I knew I should have let you sleep in there with the door closed. Yeah. And he's just fucking doing the math, you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So that you were at my is, house that night. I like what we did. It was it wasn't my idea. No, no, it was. Was. for sure. If you wouldn't have said no. that, we'd have never thought it no, was. Your absolutely. Idea. No, yeah. it wasn't my idea. But Ann just put a shirt on. I guess my nephew. It's Ann's brother's kid. So I guess that's my nephew <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, that just said that just said big cousin to that family. So you, if you can avoid actually saying we're having a kid. Just do a whole, you know, just let fucking be shitty about leaving a ultrasound pick on the table or that, something like that. Yeah. That's what we did for the second one. We just had the older one walk out with the ultrasound picture. Yep. The best is just don't say anything. Yep. <laughs> um, Or just fucking go to Christmas and have the wife whip off the coat and just huge. <laughs> <laughs> And then you have to watch everyone squirm to wonder, are you pregnant or are you just fat? <laughs> are you bloated? Yeah. <laughs> Multiple meals today. I'm, I'm not knocking it, but I'm I'm going to tell you, I'd be pretty confused by a shirt that says Big Cousin. <laughs> I don't know if I would get it. Is that a pizza joint? <laughs> I just, I guess I don't know how much more I can explain that, Tyler. I know. Like, I get Big Brother. Like, big there's, yeah, yeah. But like, like there's yeah. no other cousins in the that entire side of the family. 
<laughs> he, that that kid has zero cousins currently. He's yeah. the only only kid in the whole family. Yeah, I know. I just I don't know if I would get it. He'd walk him like I was making fun of him. Like, I don't. It doesn't say fat cousin. <laughs> no, but like that's okay, you can't not, use that word in twenty twenty three. That's just not a term. <laughs> I didn't buy the shirt. I know, I know. I'm just saying I would have got to it eventually, but I would have, I'd have scratched my head a little. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely would have been a he- little bit of a head scratcher, Tyler. I'm with you. Yeah. Really? No, I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it could leave things up for interpretation, like you said. Yeah. Like, it's just not. So you're thinking it's like, oh, look at him. He's big cousin, so big. Show us how big you are. <laughs> Honestly. How big are you? <laughs> But he doesn't have any cousins, Tyler. I, so how can he be a big cousin if he doesn't have any other cousins? Yeah, but the, the it term... It doesn't say big kid on it. The term big cousin doesn't exist. <laughs> big, oh, so he I, wants like... He's like, oh, what's up, big cuz? Is that what you're thinking? Like, I, I up, wouldn't know cuz? what to think. Tyler, what, what I could have said is like, cousin number two inside of you <laughs> and he just he has to point the arrow at ann oh so so you'd like the shirt to say my aunt has a baby inside of her that my uncle put inside of her but like think about your cousin that's the shirt you want no the cousins that are older than you you don't be like hey that's my big cousin that's my older cousin <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. it's, it's like a, big brother or big sister yeah but. like oh that's my big brother yeah that's my big cousin <laughs> I get it, but yeah. you could quickly just do the math. The kid has zero cousins. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that you would. I'm just saying it would have taken. Like if that. you just take yeah. big out of the entire equation, it could just say cousin on it. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, it could come from the other side of the family too. You no, know. there's no kids on that side. <laughs> He's he has zero cousins. No, but as in like, other like, like yeah, like someone pregnant. else on the other side is pregnant again. <laughs> so why would Anne be walking out of the room with a kid that, the, with a new oh, shirt she, on? Uh, she had the kid. She she was holding. Yeah. Okay. That okay. helps. That helps. I was thinking he was just Context like running. Like, Me too. I thought she just like, and... all right, go show everybody. Yeah. <laughs> just walk out. Even then, if they're at our yeah. house. <laughs> and there's, it was only one of Anne's brother mm. and his wife. So, oh, okay, I'm just, also thinking that this is like a family get together, not just one that would couple. actually be great. That's actually a great that, idea. In my head, this is like Christmas with the entire family, the there. whole extended family. Yeah, it's like pregnant you, roulette. Yeah. Like, which girl yeah. in the room is pregnant? Everyone's fucking yeah. standing there pointing finger guns yeah. at each other. You just secretly put the shirt on the kid and send him out into the wild and watch people lose their mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should do it. We should. You should do that, even if no one is pregnant. I was just gonna. Yeah. Say, the best thing is no one's pregnant. <laughs> Fucking big cousin roulette. Yeah. We'll call it. <laughs> like everyone has a glass of wine. It's like which one is the NA wine and which one's not. Yeah, you know? that would be very funny, actually. Or it's like you accidentally make someone spill the beans. You're like, how did you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. That would be good. Yeah. That would be good. That should be the new TikTok trend. <laughs> Big family gatherings put on a dumbass shirt like that and just let people <laughs> be confused. Mm-hmm. Uh, Any other ones, Jared? That's, that's it. What a way to end it, Tyler. I get what you're saying, but also. It makes sense if it's just that couple there. I thought this was your entire family. No. Just Anne's brother, his wife, and the grandparents. And the big cousin. <laughs> and big cousin. And big cousin is like, call him now. You got to call him that now. BC. <laughs> big cuz. What up, BC? Before, what, what, up, up, what up? What up? What up, big cuzzo? What up, BC? <laughs> Remember when you were BC before cousin? <laughs> now you're AC after cousin. Great cousin. <laughs> What up, BC? Uh, I should <laughs> at the extended family gathering. We should have got a shirt for Anne's second cousin that just says "Great Cousin." <laughs> <laughs> no, just, yeah. that's even more confusing. I know. That's <laughs> would it be like third cousin, or why, how would that even work? If it's well, I looked I this up recently actually because Anne and I got into an argument about it. <laughs> So 
when we were deciding on what cousin shirt to buy, we needed to clear it up. You know, you don't want to get a big cousin once removed shirt and it not be what it is. <laughs> Got to thread the needle. So it's actually, I actually think it would be great cousin once removed would be a great cousin. <laughs> It's a great cousin. Yeah. So what is you have a, to take some time to decipher that. What is a second cousin then? Second cousin would be further away than a first cousin. So <laughs> yes. So is a second cousin the first cousin of my parents? Or like yes. my mom or dad? Yes. Oh. So it's your parents' cousins. But no, that might be your your cousin first cousin once removed. Yeah, right. So like through marriage. My Grandpa's the oldest. He had my dad, and my grandpa's youngest brother has a kid that's the same age as me. Your grandpa had a kid. I didn't catch any of that. Okay, so I have a cousin. Tyler, before you start, you have to say, "Hear me out." Hear me out. <laughs> I have a cousin who's the exact same age as me, but he's a whole generation higher than me. Your dad, yeah, yeah. He's, that's your first cousin once removed. Okay, he's my grandpa's brother's kid, but we're the same age. So he'd be your dad's first cousin. So I yes, think he, your he is my dad's first cousin. Yeah. Is he, yeah. is he my second, second cousin? cousin? Yeah. No, he's your first cousin once removed. Because we've always <laughs> wondered this our entire lives, and we've never had an answer. Okay, so your dad's cousin's kid is your no, my dad's no. uncle's son. So my dad so and this is, kid is are, are first that's cousin. your dad's first cousin. Yeah. So what yeah, is so he to what, me? Yeah. So to he's your he's your first cousin once removed. His kid is your first cousin second removed. Okay. Look it up. I I don't know. What to so do then, what what is Tyler's kid Just with say his first, first cousin? <laughs> Just say, I don't care what he is. What is first cousin versus first cousin once removed? This is it. We have to. I have to. We need to know. Because I was shocked at that. There's way more once and twice removes than there were second cousins. Okay. Is what I remember. Because I always assumed. He I was may my... have to backpedal. So like this. No, but uh, verse first cousin once removed. It'll pop up. A lot of people have this question. <laughs> yeah, in Alabama. <laughs> How's it going, Jerry? Okay, once yeah, removed yeah. means a different so, in one generation. If your first cousin has a child, the child is your first cousin once removed. There we go. No, that's he's not my first cousin. He's he's my dad's first cousin. So 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 if your first cousin once removed, his. If so, your dad, so, so it's your dad's first cousin once removed. No, he's my no, dad's okay. first cousin, and now his son he's is once my, removed. Yes, yeah, to your dad though. Yeah. So what so is what he is he to you? But then, but but your 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 dad's cousin. It's still to him. You're still the first cousin once removed. Because then it's second removed. His kid is to you. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, then yeah. it's just flip flop. So your dad and you, and then him. So yes, I I am his first cousin's child, so making me his first cousin once, once removed. removed, and then his kid is your first cousin, second removed, Holy and to shit, your dad, dude. that kid is your dad is first cousin once removed. What's a second cousin? <laughs> Google what? what's a second cousin. What? Uh, here we go. All right, same great grandparents. Your mom's first cousin's child is your second cousin. Your your grandpa's br- this I know. Is the same answer. I know. <laughs> or your grandpa's brother's grandchild, your dad's aunt's grandchild is your second cousin. So there's no third removed. That's just your second cousin. Yeah. I, I'm but conf- you're in the same generation. They're just not as closely related. But so it would be second cousin for you as well. It'd be the same thing. Yeah. Because N- you. N- yeah. Or is well, it no, is mom second and dad cousin different? is only when you're in the same generation? I'm fucking I don't know, I dude. So. Genealogy's fucked. Because you have the same grandparents. Yeah. I, we have the same great grandparents, but they're his grandparents. So we don't have the same great grandparents. They're his grandparents, my greats. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, Zach, if you're listening, man, I've, the, same the struggle church, continues. Do, I thought we had it. How do fireworks <laughs> blow up underwater? I don't know, man. <laughs> don't even. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Betcha Radio. May your cousins be related. <laughs> May you not marry your cousin. <laughs> and your shelters be bombed. Proofed. Prepped. Prepped.
Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.